Doctors and nurses of Reddit who have delivered babies to mothers who clearly cheated on their husbands, what was that like? We had a very sweet, blonde-haired, blue-eyed mom and dad along with their entire extended family in the room for a delivery one busy afternoon at work. Think aunts, uncles, cousins, grandma and grandpa too. The baby's born and as the doctor places her on the mom's chest, the first words out of her mouth are, That's not my baby! That's not my baby! The baby in question, still attached at the umbilical cord, has beautiful, dark, curly black hair and dark skin. The nurse looks at her and tells her that this is definitely her baby because because she's still attached to you. And she not so quietly tells the nurse, there's no way I never slept with a black man. It's not mine. The father is standing there silent, not sure what to do. A long, awkward silence fills the room. We clean her and the baby up as cheerfully as we can. We see the extended family filter out of the room and the father leaves to get a cigarette. About 10 minutes later, a tall black guy walks up to our front desk asking how to get to the patient in question's room. Okay, I am a nurse, but this story isn't about a birth I witnessed, it was my own birth. And although my mother definitely didn't cheat, all the midwives were convinced she had. For background, my mother's white and got married young to another white guy, actually forced to by my grandparents who were horrified since she was living in sin. Their relationship petered out and they separated, but remained very good friends. Then she met my father, a black man, and began a relationship with him. Mum was still married at the time. Neither her nor her husband were in a hurry to get divorced, and he became good friends with mum's new partner, my dad. Mum got pregnant with me. Time moves along. She goes into labor and needs to head to the hospital. Dad was working and couldn't make it home in time to get her there. So, still being good friends with the husband, she rings him and he comes around to drive her to the hospital and decides to hang out until I'm born. After an hour or so, Dad arrives. He was freaking out a bit, so his best friend, who was another black guy, drove him because Dad didn't trust himself. They arrive at the hospital right as Mom is ready to deliver. The midwives come out to the waiting room and grab the husband to be there when the baby's born. They knew that my mom Mom's technical husband had driven her there, so assumed that he was the father of the baby. Went and grabbed him and tried to drag him into the delivery room. He freaked out and yelled, No, no, I'm not the father, I'm just the husband. The father's aboriginal. Dad and his friend pulled up into the car park as this is happening, and Dad leaps out of the car. Decides he needs to have a quick smoke to settle his nerves before coming in. His friend doesn't smoke, so he walks in ahead. Just then, the midwives come running back to the waiting room to grab the actual father and see the only black guy in there. Obviously him, right? So they take him and suit him up to bring him to delivery. For whatever reason, my dad's friend chose not to question this and just went along with it. The midwives reach the delivery room and shove him inside. Mom, legs in stirrups and at the pushing stage, goes absolutely ballistic. Not that black guy! He's He's not the father, go get the other one! The midwives hustle my dad's friend out and return him to the waiting room to wait with the husband. My dad has finally come inside by now and the midwives marched up to him and said something like, I hope you're the father this time, otherwise I'm just going to give up and she can give birth alone. So that's the story about how the hospital went through three different men before they actually found my father. Consulted a couple who were expecting a baby and were confused about how she had chlamydia, again. Turns out they both had chlamydia, both got treated and continued doing their thing. She could not get her head around how she had it again if he was the only guy she had slept with. He just looked very sheepish as I tried to subtly explain maybe he had caught it from elsewhere and passed it on. Took a long time for the penny to drop. One of those couples where you realize the kid won't get any help with their science homework from their parents. I know a guy who's fully white. His parents are both white and his younger sister's black. I always assumed she was adopted and one day I mentioned it. He looked at me weirdly and was like, no dude, that's my full blood sister. Obviously, I didn't believe it and neither did his dad at the birth. But they got the paternity test and she was his daughter. Likelihood is they've got some black ancestors far enough back to be forgotten about. I also know a dude who has a white Scottish mom and a black Jamaican dad. Dude came out pale white with a ginger afro. Genetics were not on his side. Anesthesiologist here. C-sections are typically done under spinal anesthesia, and we're the ones at the head of the table keeping the mother calm and talking her through the procedure while the surgeons operate. I've seen it more than once, but I remember one in particular where the parents were both very Caucasian and the baby was very much not. The father obviously had to be very dark-skinned. At delivery, when the not-father saw the baby, he just looked down at his wife, who started to cry and calmly called her some horrible names and walked out. She 
started screaming for him to come back, but there wasn't much she could do since she was, you know, still being operated on. She lost it to the point I eventually had to sedate her just a bit because she was in danger of injuring herself. As far as I know, her husband never came back to the hospital. I don't know what happened after that. A friend of mine tells the story of his aunt giving birth in the 70s or 80s to a baby that at first glance appeared to be of Asian descent. Aunt and her husband are both Caucasian Midwesterners from long lines of the same sort, going back to Germany. There was evidently a shocked moment, and then the aunt's father, my friend's grandfather, quipped, Well, they say one in seven babies is born Chinese. And everyone laughed. The tension broke. Long enough for the doctor, also a white Midwesterner of German stock, said that likely the kid's color is just off due to the events of the birth. The baby is now a man in his 30s or 40s and looks like your typical Midwesterner. He just had some tinged to his skin for a few hours following the birth, plus some dark hair at birth that has since lightened up. I had a case where the newborn had chlamydia, got it from the mom, obviously, so the mom admits that she was cheating on the dad, because there's no way to explain that one, except the dad was cheating too, with the other guy's girlfriend, and all four of them had chlamydia and no idea who had it first. They also had no idea who the actual dad was, that was a rodeo. My brother had a surprise baby this way. He and a co-worker had a one-night stand while she was broken up with her ex. She gets back with her ex. Ends up pregnant. Flash forward to the delivery day. The day my brother sends me a picture of a random baby out of the blue and says, uh, I think I'm a dad. She's white. Her boyfriend is black. My brother is white. Baby came out looking very, very white. I don't know how it went down in the hospital room, but I know they separated very soon after. My brother went to visit her in the hospital and asked if she would let him take a paternity test. She agreed and it came back positive a week later. And that's how I got my surprise nephew. I'm of Irish descent. Extremely pale, freckled, wavy dark hair, and darker green eyes. My husband is half Native American, half German, dark, dark hair, and slightly wavy as well. My daughter came out with light, light brown curly hair and ever so slight strawberry blonde pieces mixed throughout. Curls for days. And the nurse goes, wow, where did you get that hair? Knowing I had similar color as a baby and my mother has kinky curly hair, my husband in a room full of nurses goes, I don't no poster where did she get that hair i could have killed him not a nurse but my wife is and i hear everything a woman was delivering her white ex-husband's baby with her new black boyfriend beside her and after the baby came out and had his foot stamped with the ink pad the boyfriend pointed to the black foot and said oh he's got my feet i guess it's off topic but i laughed when she told me my brother married a half Korean, half white woman who had three girls to the same Mexican guy. The first looks Latina. The second looks Pacific Islander. The third girl has platinum blonde hair and icy blue eyes. They look nothing alike. And yet if you look at their lineage, it all makes sense. I don't know if this ever caused any issues between her and her ex, but I could understand if an eyebrow was raised in the third one. Now she is a fourth girl with my brother and she looks nothing like the other three. Just standard brown hair, brown eyed white girl. Not a delivery nurse, but I have to share. My friend Sarah was pregnant and her boyfriend flaked out and was not in the picture. So her other friend Eric and I took it upon ourselves to be there for her during the pregnancy. When she was having an ultrasound, we were both there in the room with her. As the tech is showing us the baby's face, we're saying things like, Dude, that's totally your nose. Look, that can't be my chin. And things like that. Sarah was laughing and the bewildered tech was looking at the three of us, probably making comparisons herself. I ended up working with that tech years later. One day she said, so out of curiosity, who was the father? I'm a nurse. I've seen quite a few situations where dad turns out not to be dad, but never because of the color of the newborn. I have, however, seen an absolute ton of kids who are born and don't look like the same ethnicity as their parents for days or sometimes a couple weeks. Babies often look darker when they're born. Just saying, some of these anecdotal stories might not necessarily be true. I had a female patient come in with abdominal pain. Pregnancy test was positive. She was with her husband who evidently had a vasectomy about a year prior. I slowly backed out of the room after that one. I know it's possible, just improbable. 
Obligatory, not a doctor or nurse, but both of my parents have blonde hair, and when I was born, my hair was strawberry blonde. My paternal grandparents lost their heads and accused my mom of cheating because red-tinted hair didn't run in their family. However, it ran in my mom's family with a redhead popping up every now and then. My paternal grandparents didn't know that. They just really hated my mom, so looked for excuses to drag her down. It wasn't until I stopped looking like a potato, as most newborns do, and started looking like a person when my dad's family features came through enough to make them apologize to my mom. A friend of mine, white guy, never knew who his father was, got married and had a kid with a white girl. Kid came out black, so he opted for a paternity test rather than walking away. And it was indeed his son. So he took a genetics test a couple years later and it turns out he's half African. Had a patient come into the ER for a UTI with her boyfriend of three months. His words. She was 19, acting extremely dramatic for just having a UTI. We tell her we need urine. She urges us to catheter, which is really unusual, but says she can't pee. So me and another nurse assume the position to put in a catheter with her lying on the gurney. At this point, the nurse screams, Call L&D, she's crowning! L&D nurse gets in just in time to grab the child as it shoots out into her hands and is a living, breathing baby. The girl swears she had no idea she was pregnant. They wheel her off to postpartum and the guy is just kind of left standing there, dumbstruck. We've only been dating for four months. I had no idea she was pregnant. She never mentioned it at all. All with his head just buried in his knees while he was sitting on the floor against the hallway wall. I felt so bad for the guy. Okay, so story from a friend of my brother's. She worked as a nurse and a woman and her husband came in. They were both white and she's delivering a child that was black. The husband immediately starts saying WTF while she's going on and on about dormant traits and everything. He orders a DNA test. While this is going on, her mother and stepdad show up. The stepdad is black. After the testing is done, the DNA test ends up showing that the baby is the stepdad's. Her husband instantly dropped her and cut ties. It's sometimes best not to leap to conclusions too quickly. When I was born, my skin was a little blue. Thankfully, my dad didn't get angry and accuse my mom of screwing around with a smurf. Not a doctor or nurse, but in undergrad, I had a buddy, Caucasian, who'd been dating the same girl, also Caucasian, for quite a while. She gets pregnant and he proposes. Fast forward a few months and both families are eagerly waiting at the hospital to greet the baby. The baby comes out black. Everyone's in shock. Girls frantically trying to convince everyone that there's been a misunderstanding. My buddy calls off the engagement immediately, returned the ring, and never looked back. Not a doctor or nurse, but when I was 14, maybe 15, I found out my cousin and his wife were having a baby. Keep in mind, my mom had lots of much older siblings, so my cousin was already 23 at this point. Fast forward eight months later, me, mom, and the rest of our extended family are eagerly waiting outside the delivery room, and we hear a scream. Not my cousin's wife, but my cousin. The nurse opens the door for us, and we see my cousin sitting on a chair, his head in his hands. His wife is holding their baby in her hands, but the only thing was... The the baby was black. Needless to say, they divorced a month later and we've not heard from her since. Med student here. Had a mother who was A negative and a father who was A negative, but baby ended up being A positive. Mother was asking if it was possible for this to happen and the doctor kind of implied that it was possible. To my surprise, since it's not meant to be. But they suggested to retest the husband's blood group and to follow up with their general practitioner. The doctor told me after that they didn't want to get involved and would leave it up to the general practitioner to deal with and just hope the husband was actually positive. Apparently things got awkward the next day. They stayed for a couple of days after due to complications when the husband was asking about blood grouping and was just strongly suggested to get retested. I never found out what happened after, but from my impression of the mother and some of the things she said, I'm pretty sure she cheated. My wife's best friend is a doctor who delivers babies, so I have a couple of stories for you. She delivered one baby where the father and mother were acting really awkward, but he was around during labor, and when it came time to push, the man just walked out and left the room. Apparently, the issue was they were just friends, and he lived in another state with his wife and kids. Another woman had an affair with her cousin's husband and got pregnant, calling him her fiancé. Her husband died during this period and it prompted her to go out and sleep with a few other one-night stands. At this point, 
point, she was exploring other alternatives, but was turned away because she was overweight and hypertensive, making the procedure too risky. She never followed up with the doctor and gained weight to over 400 pounds. It was too late for any other options at this point, and she'd been taking medication for the hypertensive thing, and the medication can cause death or deformities. When she delivered, it took the entire staff to prevent her from having a stroke. And the baby's kidneys? Do they work? No one knows. Most of the stories are that the man cheated. If the mother cheats, there's no real reason to bring it up, so they don't really know. Lots of telling a mother who has only slept with one man that she and her baby have chlamydia. No weird stories of white babies to black parents or vice versa. I had a friend who was a nurse tell me this story. A birth of a couple's third child. The couple was white. The baby was obviously of Pacific Islander descent. Everyone went very quiet. The nurse telling me the story said she took a moment of silence as she realized what had happened. Then she tried to act normally, but waiting for the outburst. She said the tension was unreal. The guy stared for a minute at the child that was obviously not his. The mom was already in tears and talking very fast. The guy stood up looked around for a minute, then left the room. Never said a word. He wasn't seen again at the hospital. The mom spent the rest of the day on her phone. The nurse doesn't think she ever found him. I got a weird one. My previous neighbor was a nurse and delivered one where my buddy of mine was involved. A buddy of mine she knew came in with his girlfriend who was in labor. My buddy was clearly not keen on having a kid, but the mother wanted to go through with it and was madly in love with my buddy to a point that it was obsession. So the girlfriend decided to keep it in order to keep him around. The girlfriend was properly paranoid, delusional, and an abusive head case that made my buddy's life hell for 18 months. He was at the point where I genuinely thought he might just run away or slip into depression because of this woman. She insisted it was his and was expecting him to either marry her or, in her words to one of my mutual friends, if he won't love me, I'll just take him for all his money for the next 18 years. My neighbor said he looked like death in the waiting room while the baby was being delivered. The baby comes out, my buddy and the girl who are both English-Irish heritage looked and saw a Pacific Islander baby. Turns out the girlfriend was sleeping with one of the local rugby players on the down low and he ended up knocking her up. My neighbor said she had never seen someone who looked so emotionally and mentally broken do such a 180 in less than a minute. My neighbor looked back at him as he walked out of the room laughing maniacally with joy. He looked at my neighbor and said, that's not mine. Thank heck, I'm free. She said he was spotted dancing down the hallway to the exit. My buddy's doing okay now. He has a very nice South African girlfriend who he's been with for three years. They're looking to buy a house together and get married soon. His ex is now living with her parents in a small grand shack with the kid. The Pacific Islander baby daddy went MIA and last I heard is suspected to be hiding out on some island in his native Fiji. Can't blame the guy for leaving. And I personally hope he's never found. Hospital social worker here. I met with a family because their baby was in the ICU for inhaling his monocum during birth, and we met with all NICU families for support. The father asked me in front of their five other children who were old enough to understand the question, how to get a paternity test. Awkward. I don't know about the delivery part necessarily, but the birth certificate part can be awkward. In Louisiana, if you're married or have been divorced for less than 300 days, the husband slash ex-husband goes on the birth certificate unless there's a DNA test proving who the father is with a form signed by the mother, the husband, and the actual father. Many divorced women don't realize that and have a baby with someone else. It's a shock to find out legally your ex-husband is still the baby's father unless you get all that other stuff sorted. Midwife from Australia here. Craziest delivery I ever attended was a girl who was pregnant 17 times with 15 live children as a result of those pregnancies. And three different dads turned up over the short course of her labor with baby number 15. They proceeded to have a fist fight about who was the real father and I had to call security to escort them out. That followed with a call to child services. My wife is a nurse. One day, she had a woman come in planning of abdominal pain. They quickly find out she's pregnant and in labor. Her wife arrives shortly after with a lot of questions. This is my granddad's story. He was a gyno. It must have been in the 70s when a married white couple came into the hospital with a woman in labor. Baby's born, my granddad is called to cut the cord. But the baby's all gray. The nurse is in terror and holds the baby upside down and smacks it on the butt, as was custom to clear the airways, and is almost in tears. Doctor, the baby's only getting darker and darker. I don't think it's getting enough oxygen. My granddad, having worked in the field for a long time at that point, just started smiling, took the baby 
baby and said, I think a good bath will do just fine, and proceeded to wash all the blood and fluids from birth off the baby, revealing a healthy and half black child. He used to tell that story all the time when I was a kid. He said the husband just stormed out and it was a huge scandal in their village. Since it was Germany in the 70s in a rural area, there weren't that many candidates for the father either. Well, somehow, I don't know why, the husbands are almost always first aggressive towards the doctor or nurse who presents the baby. Had a case I'll always remember, my first shift in gynecology. Late night, around 11pm, a woman comes in, screaming and cursing like there's no tomorrow. We check her and she's around 7 centimeters dilated. At 10, you can start the birth. We rush her to the birth room. Father's being led into the waiting room, which is also a library for new fathers. A lot of books with information on firstborns and things like that. Fast forward. Forward. Woman gives birth, she goes to the recuperating room, husband goes to her, both eagerly awaiting for the baby to be presented. My boss, who's one sadistic guy, hands me the baby and tells me to go present it. Did I forget to mention that the baby was black? Oh, and the mother was a snow white skinned redhead? And the father? Well, blue eyes and blonde hair? There was absolutely no way that I could justify that amount of menelin. I bite the bullet, take the little lad, and head off. I enter the room. The father's standing up, he sees that the baby baby is black. He looks at his wife, looks at the baby, looks at my face. My face tells him, yes, there's no mistake here. And he loses it. Weirdly enough, his anger is not focused on the wife, but on me and the baby, the two unlucky bastards who had nothing to do with the betrayal or any of that. The husband starts throwing newspapers and books at me and the baby, shouting, get him away. That's a mistake. Not in a racist way or anything, just the man was in shock and kept backing up towards the wall like a cornered animal trying to run away from a predator. In this case, he was just cornered by a dreadful fact, the one that he's not the father. Me and the baby managed to escape with just a bruise on my forehead. Bibles travel faster than any other books through air. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories, linked at the top of the description. And if you liked Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot, linked in the description as well. Either way, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.